hello guys welcome back to our youtube channel so today is just in on quite a popular veteran actress who is dreaded by a lot of viewers we are talking about Bandele Olayinka Margaret, who is popularly known as Iagunkon. This particular name rings a bell. Once you hear this name, the first thing that comes to your heart is fear. Before even looking at the picture of veteran actress Margaret Bandele Olayinka, the first thing that comes to your mind is fear. After she featured and played a major role in the popular Yoruba movie, which was titled Kutuaye and Kutuoru. Well, she has now decided to explain her own side of the story, saying she faced a lot of challenges during this time. Immediately she finished playing that role, she received a lot of attack. She now further explained that it wasn't just her that received this attack. Each and every one of them who played a major role in that movie had been attacked spiritually one way or the other. Now looking at the woman, one would think she's actually part of them. Considering how she played the role, with a heart and a might but some people forget that she is just an actress and she ought to play the role like it is real and that's what makes a good actress she had one time been lynched at the market when people saw her and saw this is the woman who played this major role in this movie she was lynched by the mob but with the help of certain soldiers she was rescued by some soldiers around at that time as people concluded that that was who she was in real life but truth be told that is not who she is in real life she further explained that she saw shiggy after playing that role and she had to run away from the industry for a while to get herself and put herself together the name will surely ring a bell in the ears of movie watchers who are especially familiar with Yoruba speaking sector of the film industry and it is safe to say that there has not been anyone who has been acting that acted that role like she did any child who watched that movie growing up is still afraid of this woman and is still afraid to watch that movie ever and over again mrs margaret de leolainka whose name is also mojun yolua she is talented she's blessed with telling the gift of acting and fantastic creative ability she has featured in so many movies before she actually played the role of this particular popular movie she went ahead to explain that in fact the writer of the script the producer late Adileye, also saw shigi after being attacked spiritually she said she almost left the industry because of this in an interview iagwonko could be heard explaining her ordeal after playing this role she recounted her experience with people of the underworld iagwonko said that the encounter happened five days after she shot the popular movie the elderly actress said that she was beaten and almost scarred by the agent of darkness Kotoru is one of the most popular Yoruba movies and it dominated the airwave in the 90s. As mentioned earlier, a lot of people are still scared to watch this movie. In the video, the movie star said her role in the movie came with a price. According to her, five days after she finished shooting, she was approached by people in the other side of the world. She noted that they had asked her if she knew how they behaved for her to have portrayed it in the movie. She noted that it was her husband that surveyed the situation, else she would have been skinned alive in her encounter with the people of darkness. Explained that she was advised to join, but she protested and said she is not going to be a part of it. After shooting, explained that she was confronted with several other challenges, saying that while she was asleep, she was flogged in her dream and flogged mercilessly. They asked her to join and she said no and thank god for her husband who was still alive back then and if not for him she might not be here today she said she had put in so much effort into her career and she believed that one way or the other she was going to come into limelight and as god will have it it was when she played the role in this popular movie that she came to limelight and everyone knew about her well, she undertook her first performance at training under the mentorship of Drew Ladipo. During that period, performances were basically delivered on stage. Iyad Khan emerged into film conversation in the early 70s, featuring in several TV series by Yemiele Bourbon. Her father was a trader in Badon, and she's also the only child of her mother and her father. After fleeing her hometown, 
owing to a series of maltreatment from her father's relation, she came to Ibadan where she served as a house help. She was employed as a maid in Ibadan with the knowledge of her father. She is from Otsu, it is a local government in Oyo State, but her mother is from Ise in the same Oyo State. Yagbunko got a major breakthrough after the production of this movie. Well, she was married and had children of her own. Producer and the owner of this said movie also passed away. It was rumored that this said attack was what claimed the life of the producer. Act Ajaleya could be said to be the one who makes hear about horror movies. Well, the likes of Lady Wu, who was also part of the production, also passed away. And of course, the same rumor trailed his death. But from the family of Kalido, it was said that he had diarrhea before his passing. Kalido, whose real name is Tajuddin Akomu, died in 2008 after suffering from an illness that resulted in severe stooling and vomiting. Who was said to have rose to stardom after he featured in the movie, which was produced by a filmmaker and versatile scriptwriter Ekini Ajileye. Late Kalido was not just a comic actor, he was a Fuji artist. His music talent took him to Lagos and performed several ceremonies all around Oshubo town. He continued his acting and music career in Oshubo and was widely known across the nooks and cranny of Oshun State. But he is famously known for his comic act in movies. Before his passing, he had three wives. Being a natural, jovial, and talented person, Kali Dobu was a toast of all women. His first wife is into Kampala design, and the second wife is also a trader. The third wife is the popular Nollywood veteran actress Iyabo Ko. Well, it was a surprise of close friends and colleagues as they told one of the reporters that the relationship between Kale Dewu and Iyaboko was a secret initially and it advanced into other things. Kale Dewu was said to have stole for days before his last breath. Kale Dewu who died at the age of 52 in a rented apartment and he was buried in his family house which is situated in Itaolokon, Oshun Oshobo State. A family and a relative said, I advised him to go do a test at the teaching hospital, but he ignored my advice. He said he was recovering and I've taken herbal drugs. In fact, we both went out to eat pepper soup at our regular joint. So when I heard that he just died the following day, I did not believe until I saw his corpse. This was the source revealing. This well back to Yagbun who revealed the challenges that she had to face while she took up a particular role. Well, guys, there you have it. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment in the comment section below. Thank you. Bye.